Hello, hello again. So today, I finished moving over my worms from my worm tower to one of my 27 gallon totes. And I pulled out a bunch of cocoons. And look what I'm witnessing right now. We have a baby worm being born. Now this is too, this is just awesome. <laughs> I've never witnessed this on my own because I know they have to be in perfect conditions to actually um, do this. And I know when I was pulling out the cocoons, because I got a nice little stack there if you can see. I was able to see the baby on the inside. So to see one coming out now, that is astonishing. I think that's definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Let me see if I could actually zoom in even closer. Where did you go? And I'm not helping right now by putting it under direct light. Because I want to get good light in to capture this. And you see how some of those eggs are amber. Well, cocoons rather. Are amber in color. Those ones are going to hatch pretty soon. soon. But I just had to turn on the camera. Let me see if I can actually move this out of the way here. Let's see if the baby's there. It is so tiny. Let me see if I can zoom in here. Look at that. <laughs> it is so tiny. Wow. Now, I had planned on capturing this, but I never knew that it would actually happen today. Look at that. It's out. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. I mean, look at that. The miracle of life. I wonder if it's only going to be one of this cocoon. I was telling the gardener warmly that I was going to try to you know, capture some of this footage, just showing, you know, how you can see the baby inside the egg. But I didn't know I was gonna come and see one actually coming out of it. Now this right here is a sight to see. I am so excited right now. You know, I'm a run farmer for real. When stuff like this gets you excited. And I can see the cocoon that came out of that one right there. It has a little indention in there. So you know it's not full anymore. And you can look at the color of these other ones. Those are definitely very close to the same thing happening. That one seemed like, the, yep, that one already hatched. Oh, another one? Oh, yeah, we had a couple that's already hatched here. So they should be a couple of other babies around here somewhere. I will definitely get those and put them in the bin. Or I might put them in my little hatchery here. Because I have a, a bunch of other little babies. But you know, these ones, I might put them in the bin with the adults. I have a hunch that they do better in a bin with other worms in there. Because even if your bin is kind of dry, they can hang around the other worms. Because the other worms can produce their own moisture and help to keep them moist too. Um, it's just a feeling I have. You know, I have no scientific data to back that up. But sometimes when I have a feeling, you know, it's majority of times correct. I mean, this little one is just in here, just moving things around. And this is how I find them too when I'm going through the bins. You know, I just slow down for a minute 
and just watch for movement. And you will always see that little movement. So I'm going to see if I could zoom into one of these other ones and see if I can actually see the baby inside. I don't remember exactly which one. It could have been even the one that was just born. But I really want to see one of them that is that translucent. You know what, let me zoom out for a second here. And I'm actually gonna search around and see if I see one that was like that, cause I know I saw. Oh, there it goes. A cute little wisp. And they move so fast and Believe it or not, that one is already sensitive to light. Look at that. So wait a minute, so it's more than one for real. Because the other one was around here. Oh yeah, so we definitely had more than one that hatched. There's one there. And there's one underneath here. Yep. There's another little baby right there. So now let's try to zoom in again. Yep, right there. So yeah. We're having multiples hatching right now. This is really exciting. So any ones that I was seeing the baby inside today, it seems like already hatched. Because I'm not seeing it with these other ones. Where you can literally see the little baby inside. Yeah, I'm not seeing it with the other ones. But yep. Yeah. I just really wanted to show that. <laughs> I thought that was just so cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these cocoons with these newborns. Oh, I think I see where the third one is. Third one is somewhere around there. I'm just going to put these in the bin with all the adults and let them go ahead and hatch and develop. But I, I purposely picked these cocoons out because I saw, you know, the babies on the inside. And that was the first time I was, you know, I ever really saw that, you know, live and in person. So I purposely pulled these out. And lo and behold, a few of them already hatched. So, well, until the next video. Bye-bye.